Okay, so this is a photo from the area that today's video took place at. Um, it was kind of a little bit of a cooler day so and windy. So I'm going to pretty much have to just do voiceover and add background music because, uh, well, the camera wasn't set up for as much wind as we encountered. But uh, anyways, I, I caught some pretty cool stuff and I wanted to share it with you in this video. Okay, just off the parking lot, uh, we encountered this guy here. Of course, it's a, a gopher tortoise. He just chill on the front of his burrow, getting those last bit of sunshine. Didn't find too many of these guys this day. Um, again, it was kind of chilly, so they didn't really seem to be far from their burrows. Uh, a lot of times they just went back in before I could film them. Okay, so this was a first for me. This is an Eastern fence lizard. And I'll be completely honest and upfront, I did not know these guys existed uh, until I later checked out what I actually had had caught this, this day. And I believe this one's to be a female with the light blue, because then I caught this one a little bit later. Um, and we can see that he has got a whole lot more blue. I'm going to credit being able to catch these guys again because it was a bit chilly. Uh, when we were out there hiking and uh, came across these guys but I mean just look at that belly and underneath that chin just and and, and again this video doesn't do it justice and in, in actuality the blue was way much more vivid uh, than what I captured here in the video but that seems to be the case so you can see he was pretty chill um, I happened to notice it looked like he had a tick uh, I wasn't completely for sure if that was a tick. Again, this first time I ever, well, this is the second one I've caught, but I caught these two like underneath the same log. So um, when I tried to get it off, it was pretty well stuck on. So uh, I, I managed to get it off after, off the camera. Okay, so next is this frog. Um, I am a bit confused of exactly what he might be. Um, the best guess I have is a pine wood uh, tree frog, which it was just odd. Uh, as far as the location, we found him underneath the same log as those eastern fence lizards, and their habitat doesn't seem to fit where we found him. There wasn't really any moisture in that area. We were up on a, on a bluff, if you will, um, and water wasn't for a little ways away, so uh, I'm not exactly sure what exactly that frog was. Uh, if you guys have any uh, your ideas, go ahead and share them down below. So this was the third eastern uh, fence lizard we, we found that day. And if you look at the uh, foliage in the background, that's the wind blowing. That's uh, you know, It was blowing pretty good that day. Of course, we're also up on this uh, man-made bluff. And so, yeah, we were catching a lot of wind. But I was still surprised to see these guys. Uh, but same time, though, this was a south-facing slope. So if they were going to be anywhere, I suppose this is probably the warmest spot, even though it was windy. Uh, so they didn't get a wind break. But if they got into the foliage enough, I suppose they could have uh, escaped the wind. But, yeah, and as you can see, this one was a little bit more faster, but then they seem to just hold still. I think they just rely on camouflaging heavily. Once we uh, made it down to the lake, uh, we had this beautiful flyover by this uh, American bald eagle. So that was pretty cool. And just as a reminder that we are not the top predator, we did run across several piles of bear scat. So... Yeah, I'm definitely going to be filming bears in the future. I, I guarantee it. It's it's inevitable. Uh, at a different location, I did find this aquatic turtle. Uh, I think it's a red belly slider. Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, it was pretty cool because you can see the, the little minnows just swimming around him. Of course, as I walked around, I also found uh, another tortoise. Again, this was a different day, different location. Uh, the day was a little bit warmer, and uh, so yeah, they were definitely out and about. So yeah, I always love watching and filming these guys. Uh, I just sat still, and uh, he just moseyed on by, which was pretty cool.
I also came across this guy here with his fish dinner, so I stopped and filmed him, which was a pretty awesome capture as far as I'm concerned. And in case you missed the last video, so far the only snake that I've been able to capture is this feisty little baby uh, black racer. I've been able to catch both green and brown anoles. So I've showed this frog before in a previous video. Of course, I've caught him in the yard. Uh, my initial thought was uh, a green frog. Um, now that I've got this this book on uh, Florida wildlife, uh, now I'm not for sure. First, I thought maybe it could also be a barking tree frog or even a squirrel tree frog. Uh, but if you take a look at that, there's actually a black line uh, that goes through the eye. Uh, which resembles what a a pine barren tree frog looks like, but the range is not this far south uh, where I'm at in Florida. So uh, I don't know what frog this is. Now that I'm going through these photos, uh, I'm thinking that maybe the frog earlier in the video is probably a Cuban frog, because if I remember correctly, these guys have that yellow patch on the inside of their leg, and I did see that on the live video frog. I was able to film a mother and baby manatee. So I'm just going to end this video with uh, this footage here. And uh, I just want to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment on what you did enjoy, what, what reptile or anything you've seen in the video that you liked. And uh, thank you for watching.